Hello, Claudia. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. And thank you for coming on and sharing your story. Wow, Bara was so inspiring, but your story is no less inspiring. Take us back to, I think, 2017, before you started online business. How did your life and business look like? Oh, 2017 is a year uh, who changed completely my life because I was exhausted. I had an accident with my shoulder and I realized that my whole life is going down and exploding my marriage after 20 years. And I was really down and stuck and didn't know how to continue. Yeah. yeah. And that is, uh, you know, you had already had a business for nine years. I, I, I had my, my, my nutrition business, my cooking studio. I loved it, but I was not able to set borders and I exhausted myself completely, didn't earn any money, was doing everything for my clients to every hour they wanted. I worked 80 hours a week and I, I was proud of my revenue of 100K. There are not many nutritionists who have this, but with having my cookies, cooking studio, with employees, with costs, I, I had uh, expenses of 90 to 95,000 and I didn't earn anything, but I, I only realized it when I was down after my accident and I needed money because I was not able to work. And then I realized what's going on. I worked so much and now I have to lie in bed. And, and this was the point I asked my husband if he can step in because I was mainly the breadwinner. Hmm. And yes, we, we lived from the cooking studio and everything when I buy when I bought things to cook with my clients, we always had enough to eat. We had a car, we had everything we, we had from my company, mm. but uh, to be sick for two months mm. and pay the bills, there was nothing left. Yeah. So I asked my husband and then we realized that we really have some troubles in our relationship. Oh. And, yeah. And on, on every part in my life, I had a big construction site. Yeah. Wow, that really gives me goosebumps because I know uh, how devastating that must be when both the life, the personal life and the business seems like, you know, nothing is working. And and still you were looking for a solution. You are, you are a true entrepreneur. You were like, uh, you know, you were of course down and depressed about this but still what where did you get the hope from that you could turn this around uh, i think one part is the love in the thing i'm doing nutrition mm -hmm. and i i see the results yeah so I'm, I'm i'm still more with my heart at the clients that it's like i, I don't know it's coming from from above i i have to do this because people need me yes yeah and I love what I do and I'm so grateful that I can do what I love and I, I don't have to be an employee. I, I hate to get up early and I'm, yes, I'm, I'm not employable anymore. For, for me, it's impossible to sit in an office at eight o'clock in the morning. Yes, I, I hate to have the schedule uh, from other persons that other people say, tell me what to do at one time, uh, it's impossible for me. So I still had this dream to be my own entrepreneur, to have this freedom to do my own schedule. And for this, I accept difficulties mm. because the value to have the freedom is higher than the convenience or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying. So basically, being an entrepreneur, having freedom and flexibility, we take into account that sometimes there are lows and, yes. and things we need to overcome. And in your situation, well, you got sick, you, you had an accident. Uh, so uh, 
But there you were, you had the accident, uh, you had marriage troubles. Uh, how did you navigate through this period that came? Um, it took a while, but then I realized I have to ask for help. Mm -hmm. And uh, today I say, why didn't I do this earlier? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, and I got some medical help. I got a psycho therapist and we 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 had a couple therapy and uh, i also had an assistant and a surrounding which supported me and i have an inner strength to to look forward so i'm always solution orientated and um and i i had to to function and in, in, in a kind of uh, for example i had scheduled cooking courses yeah. And I knew I will earn money if I do this. And my assistant organized everything. And I was lying in the, in the bathroom crying because my life is so bad and I don't know what's happening. But half an hour before the cooking course started, I put my makeup on and from six to nine, I was working and doing yeah. my cooking course. And half an hour later, I was back in my bathroom and crying. Mm -hmm. uh, and and although this was very exhausting, it helped me because mm -hmm. it distracted me and I got out of the drama. I mm -hmm. had learned that I have to get out of the drama and I read some books and I learned to stop thinking and mm -hmm. I, I learned to give me 15 minutes a day or half an hour where I cry and I'm the victim and uh, everything is bad. But then I stopped it and I did the work yeah. very disciplined. Yeah. And it helped me because if you do things and yeah, I, I, I write it, uh, I wrote a grateful diary. Uh, I'm thankful for simple things like the bird is singing or the sun is shining but if you concentrate on the good things and although my life was a mess mm. concentrating in the good things helped me to look forward yeah that is such an important lesson we cannot put ourselves in the victim mode and just feel sorry for us all the time it doesn't change anything yeah no and i i feel only bad and so half an hour feeling bad a day and the rest of the day. And I also had like the strategy, I only have to survive the next 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And I had bills to pay and I, I did not know how to do it, but my mode was the next 24 hours. And for the next 24 hours, I'm fine. Yeah. I have some to eat in the fridge. I have water, the heating is on. And uh, I disciplined myself not to think in, in the back, in the history, like what happened, why do I have the struggles, and not to worry about the future, mm -hmm. only the next 24 hours. And that was much easier and a relief. Yeah. So you were in a survival mode, I would call it, <laughs> where you just like focus on today and not tomorrow and don't think about the past. But what was the change then? What happened? 2018 came along and something started to... Begin. Yes, the, the, the most important thing was, uh, it was clear that we will get divorced. And I asked my ex-husband to move out latest on the 31st of December, because I want to start 2080 with a new energy. Mm. And I think on 10th of January or on 7th, I got an email with Samba, Samba, Kickstart. And as I'm in the nutrition business, I thought, what the fuck is this? A new diet or moving thing? Maybe a dance. Or something? <laughs> Maybe a dance like, like Samba, yes. And I read the email. It was from Maria Hush, which is one of my best girlfriends now. And I was so hooked, like there is a business, uh, there, there is a lady who teaches online business. She comes from Iceland. Iceland was always my dreamland to travel. And I, I thought, oh, that's cool. An Icelandic lady. And I looked at your webpage and I, I liked it. And I signed up. Uh, also How I could you sign up with your life being 
in such a, well, mess. Uh, believing in myself that 2018 will be my year. I did not have the money, but I have a credit card. Mm. And uh, I invested with the credit card and I thought, okay, I have to pay it in February. And now it's seventh or tenth on January. And I, it will not be on my bank account today. And I have three or four weeks and I will find a solution. Yes. Wow. That's, that's a little bit my risky thinking. It's like always uh, believing in myself and to make it possible. And I, I had clients. I was in the business since many years and I thought, okay, I will have to send out some emails and maybe I have to go back to my beginnings. When I started my business 20 years ago, I cooked caterings for Frank's birthday parties, for agencies. Uh, the worst is I have to cook again for 100 people to earn the money. Mm. Because if I cook for 100 people, I earn 3000 bucks. Mm. So I always think I have hands, I can work and I will make it possible. If I want something, I will make it possible. Mm. You decided this was a priority for you to do some yes. changes, you know? Yes, and maybe an interesting thing, a year ago, I wanted to, uh, to go online and I had an agency for 20K. So a year before, so beginning a of the year year before, so yes. I, I didn't do it myself. Yeah. It was like, like you see the ads, hire me and I make your online course. And I paid them 20K, but the, the, the course was a disaster. It was nothing. And, and I had lost already 20K. And then I have seen your offer for $3,000. Yeah. And I thought, huh, that's so cheap. How can they do this so cheap to do an online course? Uh, because I, I, I thought the market price is to pay 20K ah. to do this online course. Yes. But a lot of women may be watching even today have made some investments in the, in the past and they didn't work out. And the same for you. You made this investment and it didn't work out. How can you invest again? How does that uh, work? Uh, to look better. But, uh, so I, I looked at your sales page. What will I get for this? And I realized it was not the, the mistake from the agency they sold their product, but it didn't suit to my, uh, what I needed. Yes. Yeah. And I always uh, try to think, okay, when I made a bad investment, what do I learn from this? Yeah. Uh, where did uh, I, where, did, where didn't I focus what I need? What kind of questions do I have to ask? And th in the second time I will do it better. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it also 3K was for me like, that's nothing. So I, I can do this. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have paid 50K at this moment. <laughs> yes. Uh, but 3K, I thought nothing to lose. It's a cheap offer mm -hmm. and it's a year to work together. Mm -hmm. The agency was like five days and you have your online offer. And I thought I paid for five days, 20K. Mm -hmm. And now for a year, I have nothing to lose. Mm. Nothing to lose. Wow. What an attitude. So you dove into Kickstart and you came up with a course idea. How did you know what course idea for your free four week course to do? Uh, I, at the point we met, I had written 20 books. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and my bestseller books were the two books about power of breakfast. I still believe in breakfast is the perfect start in the day. And I work very individualized. So I say people have an individual metabolic type and it depends on your breakfast, how good you feel the whole day, how it is possible to lose weight. And so power breakfast was my topic. Mm. So you got how many signups for your power breakfast? Uh, 1,200 and I got a 100 uh, euro Amazon gift from you because I had, I, I think I had the, the highest most sign ups. Yeah. The yes. most sign ups yes. back in 2018. Yeah. And so the upsell, what did people want next from you after they 
went through the free flow recall? Uh, they wanted more or less the idea I had with the agency before that I say I will give them the, the principles of integrative nutrition in an online course for two or three months. Yeah. And this was my, my eight week course about integrative nutrition. And I did an, the upsell and it felt so good. And you sold 80 spots, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And what was the price? Do you remember? Uh, I think it was 197 because yeah. I still had the money mindset issue. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and yes, then I had the money to go to Iceland to meet you in person now. Yeah, that was amazing trip we did together. One of my best weeks in life. And this was so healing after my divorce uh to be able to travel meet nice and interesting people and yes it was it, it was a great gift for me yeah you gave that to yourself to heal from that difficult time and uh, you're still friends today with the people from that mastermind retreat yes some of my best friends yeah. are out of this mastermind retreat and this is what i so like in your community uh you 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 have people because i'm also in other programs sometimes but as i always say to you when we meet you have a special community mm -hmm. uh, you have a community who is working with the heart and in other communities sometimes only money is what counts and yes i like to earn money but uh, we all have a reason why we do what we do and people are so inspiring and uh, and I also like the international flair and everything. So the community was a part of my journey, which I, I always say your program is life saving mm -hmm. because I meet people there um, where I can discuss things. I could not discuss with my family because they don't understand what's going on. Uh, when you have this this entrepreneurial things and troubles and struggles and yes I like your community community very much and I'm so curious whom I will meet again in kickstart yeah so you have said numerous times to me and you just said it now Sompa kickstart saved my life how can you say that um it gave me a new perspective because in my case, everything was down. I was really broken financially, personally, and to accept that uh, that I have to let go of things and that doors are closing was so much easier with the new perspective and with your energy. Mm. Yes, and I, I think we met at the right time and I believe in, in the universe and I know it, it had a reason that I got this email and I had a reason that we met and now we are working together since five years and I, I, I think I can say in, in a kind of level we are friends already yeah. and I know um, if I have troubles I can ask you, I can ask the community and, and this, this helps me to trust in myself and to go the next steps yeah. because uh, always the next level brings the next devil <laughs> and yeah. yes and we had it last year again and and i i know our discussions when we sit together and i say sigron why is this happening again <laughs> didn't i learn anything um yes i learn a lot and i get quicker but troubles are still coming up and that's part of the journey yeah that's part of the journey you mentioned your money mindset uh, you were selling for nine years one-on-one -on -one nutrition consulting. And even though you have a PhD in nutrition, you had written 16 or 20 books, you know, before you did some by Kickstart, you were still charging, in my opinion, fairly low prices. What were your prices before Samba Kickstart? Uh, the price were 420 for three months working together. Yes. 420 euro for three months working together where you help someone change their life based on nutrition yes 
Yeah. And uh, I, I'm discussing it a lot with my students now. I also had this mindset, m mindset, I have to be cheap that everybody can afford me. Yeah. And I didn't realize how small I'm, I make the opposite of mine and how I don't believe in the others that yeah. they are able to take good decisions and to make it possible. And this, this was also part of my, my personal development with my divorce, because I realized how much I was thinking about the troubles of my husband. And I always thought I have to find solutions. I have to control everything. And when I realized also the manipulating part and the part where I was above the other, when I'm above my clients and I yeah. say, I have to be cheap that they can afford me. Mm -hmm. it's, this it has to be like this yes yeah and if i don't trust in my clients that they can take good decisions uh we we have a, a energy thing running which is not good and i don't want to feed this black devils anymore and i took my responsibilities mm. and now i also train women to stand up, to take the responsibilities that we come out of this, like you say, the, the gender pay gap. It's, mm -hmm. it's we do our part that it yeah. is happening. We, um, we are to blame. We cannot blame anyone else. Yes, yeah. we have to go out of this victim part and we, we have to do our work. We have to, to, to do it. And it's a, it's a part of personal development. But the other part is to do it in business and to show up and to do the work. Mm. Yeah. So you were charging about 40 or 80 euro an hour, basically. Yes, more or less. Yeah. Yeah. So how did you make the shift? How did you fix your money mindset? <laughs> you really want the story, you know, this yeah. was the part where I said, this woman is crazy. I hate her. <laughs> I want to stop to work with her. <laughs> yes. Now it, it happened when I came in your mastermind in 2019 in January, I was in Switzerland and you said, Claudia, that's not possible. You have a PhD, you have written 22 books. You have to charge minimum 3000 for a three months program. And I had so much respect from you. And I sat in front of you and I said, yes, but I, but I thought she is mad. She's crazy. And I thought all the time, how can I go out? How I, can I get out of this mastermind? How can I stop? Yes, how can I get out? And yeah, yes, I, I like the others in the mastermind, but in my brain, I was thinking, and trying to find uh, yes how to get out and then i i went to zurich train station and i sat in the train and then i thought this woman is tough she will not give me back my 25k i paid for the mastermind Phew, what will i do and i had a journey of eight hours and then i decided 100 kilometers 100 kilometers i decided okay i trust her I do the work and I will, I can stand it if I get 50 no's. So the deal with myself was 50 no's I will accept. I will offer the 3K offer 50 times. I will make a list and then I go to Sigrun and say, Sigrun, I did it 50 times. It so I did the work, but it didn't work. <laughs> and this was the deal I did with myself that I said, I, I have to prove that it doesn't work because I, I need something uh, to negotiate with you. Yes. And then I went out at the train station around midnight and then it's magic. Then it's really magic. And I like this so much because it, it proves it's always your decision. Yeah. I came home, I fed my cats and I took my smartphone and I got a message of a guy I haven't seen for more than 30 years. We went to school together yeah. and he wrote me, Claudia, I have so much weight. Um, I have seen you are working in nutrition. Can you help me to lose 10 kilos? 
Mm-hmm. And I did some searching, Google searching his name. Yeah. He is a medical doctor. He has a very good one in practice. Yeah. And I offered him a call on the next morning. So 25 hours later, I had the call with this guy. I said, yes, I can help you. Three months, three K. And it was the first person, the first offer. He said, Claudia, we went to school together. Can you give me a discount? And I said, 2,500. And he said, yes. And I couldn't believe it. And on Monday, I had the money on the bank account because on Saturday, I sent him the invoice by email on Monday I had. And for me, it was the proof that if you take the decision, it it will be possible, but I have to believe in it. Yeah. And in that moment, I believed in me that I can stand the, the 50 no's. Mm-hmm. I realized if people say no to this uh, 3K offer, it's their decision, but it ha- doesn't have anything to do with me. Mm. But to make this, this story full, you know, half a year later, I had my clients with 3K, but I realized it's the same I did the last years and I, I needed more. I wanted more. Yeah. Wanted it was still one on one consulting. And of course, yes. when you work yes. with me, you do- are not allowed to do that for very long. <laughs> no, no, it was the same. I did and I was ready for the next step and then uh, we had the idea to found the academy and there were other magic moments but I I, I think uh, what I want to tell to the uh, to the audience now is it's always your decision and if you believe in yourself that's the most important thing the rest will sort out yeah and it's work and sometimes it's hard work. Mm. Yeah. So this was the first step to fix your money mindset. But because you were still trading time for money, we needed to take a step up. And as you said, half an hour, uh, half a month, uh, half a year, <laughs> half a year after this uh, breakthrough, it was time for your online academy, for you to create a certification program for integrative nutrition experts. and when you were deciding the price for that program what came up for you i don't remember <laughs> you can help me i i think i was too cheap maybe around 2k or something yes. yeah probably 2k 3k and then we said yeah. no it needs to be 5000 yeah. for uh eight months program scale it was 12, 12 months in the first round first 12 months yeah. and then you reduced it to eight months for a scalable program where you can have 100, 200, 300 people yeah. versus 3,000 one-on-one consultation. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it, it was another big step. And you, you remember I lost my voice. I got sick because I was so afraid to, to speak it out. Yes. And we had some discussions and, but finally I, I had the first client yeah. and I, mean, I was ready to do it with seven or eight people because I was so proud of myself and, uh, it, it felt so good that seven, eight people bought it for 4,800. I, I wasn't able to, to offer it for 5,000 at that time. And I always negotiate with you. I'm the best client, you know, yes. And I I want to mention here, because a lot of people would like to scale up from one-on-one to groups, is that you offered discovery calls to, uh, you were telling people you were starting this thing, you can book a call with me, and then people would come on the call, and then you just ask them questions, and they would say, oh, does this program have this and this and that? Another person would say, does this program have this and this and that? And you just said, yes. So you were designing the program while you were having those conversations. I think people don't really get that concept, how that's possible. Yes, now it's so clear for me, but it's good that you mentioned this because I have it already in my DNA and I like selling. And for me, it's clear selling first and then creating and creating this what the people want. 
And that was the, the mistake I, I made with the agency uh, who I bought for, yeah. for 20K because they designed something and it wasn't helpful for the people. It was a designing on the table and not working with the people. Mm. And uh, and it helps so much to be in dialogue with, with your future prospects, with your clients. Yeah. And that's the that's the sequence that's the essence of your method and that's what you're teaching and that's now five years later for me the only thing how it can work yeah so basically the first people you talk to who were interested in working with you who were interested in joining this program they kind of created the program with you but still they were paying because you only run your free four-week online course once you never had to run it again yeah yeah after everything afterwards was paid. And so you created your online academy. You said, oh, you would have been happy with seven to eight people, but how many did you get? Or how many have you had since you created it? <laughs> you, you put me the carrot and said, Claudia, if you make a 100K launch, you will be on stage in Zurich on your Sigrun Live. And I wanted to be on stage in Zurich and I had 29 clients. Of course, <laughs> yes. when we have a goal, we can achieve it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You're always good in giving me goals. Yeah. So you had 29 in the first round of the Academy, but how many have you had overall now? Overall, we have 250 already with certificate. And at the moment we have 82 or 83 in the program and it's, wow. I'm so grateful. Wow. Uh, last year we had 144 and I was a little bit afraid if it can work, if the group is so big, yeah. but uh, it's getting better, the bigger the groups are. The bigger the group, the better. Yeah, some people don't get that concept. It's actually, we learn so much from each other and in bigger groups there is more women to follow in the footsteps, more slipstreams. Yes, more successes because you have... Uh, also now, I, I think the good thing now with the 82 is that we have a better positioning because yeah. from year to year to learn and we have daily successes. And if, if you read these messages every day, it, it feels so good and we, we have impact. And my vision is uh, to make with my integrative nutrition experts minimum 100, 1 million people healthier and I think half of the way we already have done because uh, we, we get every day three to five messages what's happening out there. And that feels so good and that's worth every second I do this, what I do. And it started with kickstart and then investment of 3000. That's nothing. Yeah. You mentioned a million people impacting million people. The concept is that if you educate thousand integrative nutrition experts and they impact another thousand well you can do the math that's a million yes wow well you are close to it you already have 250 graduates 80 are going yes. through the program now it's not going to take so long to get there yes but 2018 19 for me to educate thousand people was such a big number um, it sounded unachievable, but now it's very achievable. Yes, but I think in two or three years we have done it, and now I always have, have to have new goals. New goals. New yes, but we meet in two weeks, and you will help me to find <laughs> a new goal. Yes. <laughs> Great innovation. Talking about the million, in 2021, you achieved a million in revenue. Wow. Yeah. How, how did that make you feel after thinking back? on 2017 and everything until now? Uh, to be honest, uh, when it happened, I was so busy not to realizing it. It's sinking in still. Yeah. Yes, uh, because uh, you know it with the with the fast growth, we also had some difficulties. Uh, yeah, yeah. That the, the main thing is to get it in myself. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Um, and that that's still working. It's sinking in, and uh, the main focus is always on the clients that they have the best results. And uh, in the last two weeks, more or less, is the time to 
uh, to feel it and to to feel the future and to be proud of what we already achieved, to be grateful for all this. I, I think the last two years were very busy yeah. and also because I I love my life, I like traveling and everything, but uh, I had too less time to, to feel it. And so it's still a process, but it feels amazing. It's doable and it's I never thought that this is possible yeah and talking about you know being busy you still have reduced your working hours from 80 like you had with your one-on-one nutrition consulting to 30 hours a week and you travel a lot yes. and lived two months in Zurich last year yes I liked it and being busy means also I take a lot of time for myself because this is the biggest round I have from the past I worked only for the client. Being busy means now I need an hour in the morning to do my journalings. Uh, I have daily time for my exercises and everything. And so, but that needs space. And uh, to have this time for me is a big gift now and that I learned to take time for me and that it's necessary to have this time for me. But the the uh, the working is more happening in the in the brain yeah it can also happen when i go in the forest or something because i'm still always thinking of my business i love it uh, but i have a great team who yeah. support me with the with the operational things because i'm the creative head and i'm not very good in in having lists and and do this other stuff <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you are in your zone of genius. You are the visionary yeah. of your business. And what you have done so well, Claudia, especially as your business grew so fast, is that you realize that me time, like you just not working for a whole day. Actually, you are working in your head, like, but you have to go out of the business to work on the business, to see the vision, yeah. to have new ideas. Yes, so my, my phone is always on on snooze mode so I, I get no distraction that, that people call me or notifications I need this time I only have maximum three times a week where I have meetings and I like content creating I'm always writing something I like to do social media postings but I want to do it in my pace and in my when I want to do it that's the freedom that's the ultimate freedom to yeah. do what you want, when you do it, with whom you want to do it with. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> sentence. Let's see if we have some questions. Uh, let me see if you have some questions for Claudia. Uh, well, lots of inspiration. They, everyone thinks you're awesome, of course. Uh, I'm working in functional medicine, looking to co-work with an integrative nutrition like you. Okay, that's not a question. Which course was after the eight week course? Yeah, so first you had four weeks free course and kickstart. And then you sold the eight week course that actually you had created before with the agency. So it wasn't lost money, you are actually able to use it. What happened afterwards? Was these the some of these people that then went to the academy later? Or how did you make that transition? Uh... The, the transition was in, in doing it. It was step by step. More Just making, it, step. making the offer yeah. when you were ready. Yeah. Yes. So yes. I think people, the your ascension model isn't ready from day one. You just have to do, you don't know what comes next. You know, it's not like you have this idea. Okay, I'm going to execute this for the next three years. That's not how it happened. You gradually had more ideas for your clients and how you could help them. Yes. And for that, I always need you, Sigrun, because I always lose the focus. Uh, that that's that's a pain point of the creative people. They are so creative that I, I create ten programs a day, <laughs> but I would confuse my clients. And for that, I need you as a coach always to discuss and that you stop me and I don't like it all the time. But from year to year now, I realize it's not good to have uh, to have too much distraction because people don't know for what I stand and what I do. 
That's true. Uh, so do you think a person who's just starting a business as a nutritionist should get support for the business start, even if this person hasn't experience in coaching? Or should one-on-one -on -one have to come first? Uh, I think the experience come with, with the work. And I, I think you can get experience if you work with a group, the same as you work with individuals, yes. Yeah. Uh, the advantage of the group is that, uh, that you have more brains in the group. You do mm -hmm. not have always have to have the solution because you have the group which is working and um, normally you have intelligent people in your groups and they know a lot. Yeah. Uh, thing is, uh, you must be able um, to, uh, that it's okay for you that others also know solutions. Uh, you have to reduce your perfectionism and your, I have to do everything. You yeah. don't have to do everything. <laughs> yes. No. no. And this is the whole thing, you know, I did one on one for one and a half years before I had groups, you did it for nine years. But the kickstart process helps you go straight into groups, and you can speed up the process, you still, you know, if you are a nutritionist, you already have expertise, you can, you can teach a group, just as you can teach one on one, you can just help more people and uh, get support from the group as well. Yeah, I think that's uh, how important is social media for your business? Uh, I like it because for me, it's a gift that there's something which doesn't cost me anything, only my time and I can send my message mm -hmm. all over the world. And that's, uh, but I had to realize that it's work. It's not like I do a little social media. When I took the decision two hours a day, social media is part of my work time. Uh, since then I feel good because before it was always like, oh, I do a little bit of social media and it was like cutting my private time. So mm -hmm. shifting social media is work uh, was a huge step for me. That is a fantastic distinction. So you have your own working hours if you prefer and social media is a part of your work, whether it's two hours, one hour, half an hour, it is the way to reach your ideal client. So I think if people totally want to skip it, well, I don't know how they're going to reach their ideal client because that seems to be the preferred way, right? Um, I think people are just super inspired, Claudia. What a story. What a story. Yes, yes wow. but the great thing is five years ago, it, it was such a mess in my life. And if you look back, you always know why it is for a reason. And I can say when COVID came up two and a half years ago, I was dancing through my flat. Like I know what my accident and my divorce was for because I was prepared in the online business. Yeah. You and so prepared. if you are in a bad situation, keep on going. And if kickstart is an option for you, think it through it's really everything worse and it can open so beautiful doors for you